Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia and Spain. The end of this year's spring growth. We now go into a more dormant period, summer. The grasses have lots of pollen, seeds being formed. This is also the time where the wind comes from the northwest because there's a valley sloping down towards the Atlantic and then going uphill towards the east. That is why uh, higher up they get more rain than we do because the clouds get lifted cool down more and they rain more. Here, <coughs> this is now time to do something about the hot and dry wind. The wind speed is anything from 20 to 30 kilometers an hour regularly. And the humidity is about 30%, which is quite low. And the temperature can be 35, that's 95 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, even higher. Now I have the garden here. It's about roughly 20 meters by 20 meters, although a little bit more. And if I put up a fence here, I have to put up the fence four to five meters high to have any impact on the length of this garden, 20 meters. I will not go more than two meters so my impact on wind will be for 10 meters as per the drawing in the opening scene of this video. Um, five meter wall is like the Mexican wall. Okay, stay out of politics. And... Uh, so two meters is already high for me and I will do it with this brush. I will either weave it or tie it or stake it against this fence. We have several things growing but uh, they will take time, especially the vines, the muscatel vines. Now this is an urgent project, it must be done without delay, but I'm busy with other things. Let's see, we are experiencing some of the first warmer wind, it's not even hot and things are blonding. This is trees I saved when I came to the farm uh, three and a bit years ago and they're doing well, the home oak. We have on this farm a lot of fine grass, Luna, and <coughs> say hello to the people. Okay. Now it, with this cutter, it needs, the blade needs to spin at a tremendous high velocity to be able to cut it, or it just flattens it. So it's a fine grass <coughs> and uh, it bends over very quickly 
very difficult to cut. Now this grass with these tussles, this is the one with the amazing amount of pollen. I try to stay away from them. <coughs> when I took out some soil to flatten the area here for the tent, I placed some sunflower seeds into the soil and they are growing. Eat sunflower seeds for the animals, not a certified seed for planting, but who cares? If it grows, I'm happy. Here in the uh, first rose garden, we have these beautiful white roses. And uh, we then took cuttings for the second one. Let's have a look. These rose gardens, the second one, is on the eastern side of the creek. A lot of protection from the afternoon sun. So we want them to have the morning sun, but not the afternoon sun. Now, all the roses there, we took cuttings and we placed them in here. And many of them grew. I just like it when they have these ears. But not a single white one grew. What we are now planning is because we also propagated the wild root. The wild root has a tiny flower is more floppy, the structure, and uh, but we need many of these root structures to graft the science on, but that's for next spring, but at least the project has started. This is here at the bottom of the creek. This pond is almost dry. And this is the cuttings we have taken in this springtime. Rose cuttings. So let's see what comes from this one. We have also placed a lot of rose cuttings on the swales and many of them are growing. Here I have started cutting down the grass. Again, the fine grass. I'm actually just pushing it over and not much comes from it. Here it's more taller grass, more thicker grass, and uh, it's a little more biomass, and it's easier to cut. I have cleared most of the swales. I've also ordered the drone and the drone pilot for next week to really see what's going on 
and hopefully this time we'll have some audio on it that will be great my fear of a massive fungi uh, attack invasion did not materialize not on the peach trees not on the potatoes I'm happy about that it's amazing I planted this tree two years ago size of my finger this is a uh, mulberry white mulberry and look at it now yeah we must just plant and God will look after the rest potato flower we are already harvesting now here towards the end we have the nectarines and they have what is called le uh, here leprosy la lepra it's also a fungi but the new growth at least is without the fungi i'm happy the uh, artichoke will go into flower they have no irrigation only the citrus trees tomorrow i will employ some spaghetti to get them water I'm still cutting in many many areas the grass um, I think this weekend is the last day we are allowed to do it because 98 percent of all fires are started by humans beautiful time till next time goodbye